Yo. Hey. <laughs> How cool is this? This is really cool. Really cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Look at your smile, man. <laughs> Look at yours. Look at yours. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I thought she was going to say I thought she was going to say that. That was wrong. That was wrong. <laughs> I mean, these always, to me, feel like first dates. <laughs> well, that's bad news because my first dates are really, really awkward. You can ask Ashley. <laughs> oh, this will be a good one. So how many first how many first dates did you two have? <laughs> Just one. Just one. Just one. Yeah. Oh wow. And it was, you. It Hi. Was... <laughs> oh wow. What are you drinking? A uh, spiced rum. Wow, you're a man. I can't do rum anymore. <laughs> well, it's because that's my drink, and so yeah, he has to buy choice, it. So. So. <laughs> I got to make sure I get him one every week. So, wow, I used to, I used to love spice rum. There's one here I'm really tempted to try. Uh, God, I can't remember what I used to have when I lived in the states, but there's one here. I think it's called Sailor Jerry's or something, and they've oh. got like a beautiful label. You know, you know, I'm always a sucker for labels. Me, me too. Yeah, that's that's how I. I go in the liquor store and I'm like, I don't, unless I try a hundred things, I'm not going to sure which one's good. So let's just go. That one's got an interesting label. Let's pick that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys for uh, taking the time today. Oh, it's no problem at all. Yeah. Thank you. Or so, so, so where do we go? What do you want to talk about? How do you want to play? You know, the rules, they're pretty simple. Uh, that's it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's a, a big question. Where do we go and how do we want to play? Hmm. Brian? <laughs> I was going to ask you. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to settle in here, and <laughs> I feel like I can't believe that this is happening. So I, I, I'm not sure. I I love you know, so in in all the triple D's, what one of the things we do is we give away three calls. Yeah, so we got thirty people per group. We give away three calls, and they're primarily based on the people that participate in the group. We just grab a few people out of there you know what it's just our way of giving back uh because of the way you played and you guys are the first time i've done this with a couple because normally it's like all right we got bob we got linda we got you know sam right mm -hmm. and but it's like oh my god like like I, i've got i've got a couple in mind and i'd really like to make sure we do both of you so it's like when i reached out to you guys it was like, uh, you want to do something different, you know? And, and yeah. I love different is better than better. Yeah. So I love like, uh, now. So, so, so we get to you guys dancing together and you guys dancing with me. We get to do something totally different and uh, discover where we get to go, you know? Yeah, I, I was wondering. I was wondering if this was the first time. So he answered my question. Coolio. Yeah. Now, it's you awesome. You like, so you so you guys were in the previous Triple D. In the current Triple D, uh, we've got uh, we, we've got a couple that came that started coming together in a previous Triple D. Now in the previous Triple D, Grant and Alessandra were in different continents, mm -hmm. and now they're in Triple D again this time, but they're like in the same place, which is really just it's a you know these these are the things that we imagined, but we also get. To, uh, experience because like years ago in MM would have like a wife take it and say, well, my husband doesn't believe or a husband take it and say the wife thinks I'm nuts. And every now and then a wife or a husband would, the other one would tag along later. So, you know what I mean? And it's, and it's the coolest thing to watch. However, it happens, it happens. And, uh, I, and, and I get like with me and Victoria, when, when I met her and came here, 
uh, and brought up Neville, I, I basically said something like, I really like this guy's teachings, but the biblical part can put people off. I was always thrilled with it, that kind of thing. And it's, and it's fascinating because I was imagining impact and we got to discover this is our impact. Our impact comes in part through how we play with Neville Goddard's teachings. So uh, I'm always curious to see where do you guys, you two go with whatever you do in life together? You know, because there's that commitment yeah, as a couple. And then there's like, what are you two giving birth to over time? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. For me, the whole, the whole biblical part wasn't like a hang up because that that's one of my favorite parts. And I've, I've been finding <laughs> this week, especially when I'm having conversations with people in the group. And then suddenly someone will they'll, they're like, oh, I'm not wrestling with this thing. And then suddenly like scripture will come on my mind that I'd never thought about that way before, but then it just comes out of my mouth. And yeah, then nice. like, yeah, that really helped. And that, that makes a lot of sense. And I'm like, where did that come from? I had never interpreted that way before, but now it's like alive. Mm. Bingo. Right. I, I, you know, what, what was it? Uh, one of the, inter- one of the interpretations or one of the uh, names that they gave the Bible over the years was something about living. Uh, God, I forget what it was, but you know, you obviously have the good news, the gospel, mm-hmm. but, but, it, but, but if, if it's dogmatic, it's dead. Yes. But, but, if, but if it's discovered along the way, it's yeah. like, uh, oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah. So it, that's, that's been a lot of fun. Like just, I don't know what I would call it. I don't know if there's a name for it, but it's been. It's been a blast. The living word. That's yeah, what it is yeah. for you. Word. Yeah, yeah. It's alive. Yeah. And I mean, in this little journey that we've been on so far, I know that I started listening to the podcast and I started I started reading Neville. And then right. I didn't understand Neville. <laughs> I was very confused, you know, but I was like, this seems really good. One of my friends on Facebook was like, I think you would like Neville, so you need to read this and and right. so then I would read it and then I'm like, I don't, I cannot understand this. So the podcast really actually helped me to actually cool. take away bite-sized pieces that I could work with and play with. And in the meantime, I did MM and I was like, wow, you know, this is great. And Brian really would benefit from this, but he was like, not interested in <laughs> at all. He's like, you are crazy. And He's like, he just just say, you're just into all that devilry and whatever. <laughs> so, but I just imagined, okay, that doesn't matter. I just imagined that he's he's good and he, he gets it and it's fine. And I didn't try to like tell him anything about it. And then one day he, I walked out of the room and I woke up in the morning and he's like, oh yeah, I bought Manifesting Mastery. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, like if he's not interested, that's fine with me. I don't need him to be interested in everything I'm interested in, but he's good, you know. And now he spends a lot of time, you know, in the groups, like helping people and like sharing with people. And so I'm really happy about that because most of everything for me has just been like very personal for my journey and I'm focused on me and then how I'm giving back is in my everyday life at work with the people I'm with and Brian's at home and he's working from home and he's really reaching out to people online a lot. So it's like a different sphere. Oh, cool. It's, 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 it's neat to notice like how in, in my experience with this, it's almost like once you get it, like we, we all have our own quote unquote ministry. Mm-hmm. You know, whether or not you formally teach it, whether or not you ever, ever, ever talk about it, that we, we all have a way that we bless people with it. And it could be a comment. It could be, you know, it could be anything, you know, th- online, in person, having that little conversation with somebody over a cup of coffee, just with a, hey, you ever think about just looking at things different? Mm-hmm. Just, just the little tiny things. Mm-hmm. Dog. No, nah, I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> busy dog. That reminds me of I, last semester. What, when was it? Recently, I was teaching a course for future teachers for teaching writing. 
And in fact, there I just slipped up and called them future teachers. <laughs> but uh, they would often say, oh, when I become a teacher and when I, when I, you know, they would refer to themselves as not yet teachers. And, and I was like, no, you're teachers. I see you as teachers. You're just getting the paperwork to prove it. You know, yeah. and that, that came from, that attitude came from this. And then it took them a while. You know, I wasn't, you know, it was a public university, so I had to be careful about how I talk about it. But I was like, right. I see you all as teachers, like, already. You're just getting the paperwork. That way they would kind of, like, get it in their heads, in their heart. Yeah, nice. Like, oh, no, I don't, I can think of this, I think of myself that way now. And and I was like, and not only, you're, you're excellent teachers, and, you know, so. Yeah. That was my little, little, like, way to kind of nudge that's a little it's not little little because i (laughs) today i came home and then brian had to do like a conference and he was conferencing a writing conference with a student and i couldn't help but hear what he was saying and i was like you know brian's loving teacher is excellent like it's bomb like it's just i could really feel him giving to that student and the student i think the student probably was crying with joy at the end of the thing because they felt so encouraged and empowered to in their writing. And I'm just like, yes. And this is all really great. And it's due to like the whole, you know, self-concept. And I feel like, you know, for me, identity-based manifesting has been just really powerful, like super fun to play with and just very impactful in my days. Very impactful. Yeah. What's the big, what's the biggest difference you notice? <laughs> what's the biggest difference that I notice? Speed. Right. You know, I can I can cuz I was at at one point I was playing with different states cuz I was trying to figure out what I like. And so I'm like, oh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, that was fun. It was also kind of weird. I was like, okay, I'm going to make this state and I'm going to, or I'm going to make this one. And I would play with it for a week. Like I would be like, okay, I'm going to try to dwell in this state. And then it would completely change my entire week. And the way people interacted with me and the way that I interacted with them. And some of them I did not like because it made, (laughs) you know, and so I was like, no, I'm never going to do that. one again. Like That was horrifying, you know, or whatever. And so now I've been, I was playing with it for fun. And so now I'm like, I can get into a state and then walk out the door. And then people immediately are responding to that state. And I notice it so much. So that's really fun. I love it. And I feel like then it makes me not worry. Like if I'm not exactly doing what I want, like my life is not exactly looking how I want. I'm like, oh, well I could just move states. And I could get in a new one that I like. You know, it's not, I feel free. I feel free. Yeah, nice. I, I love that you're making it like a game or an experiment or mm-hmm. like so many people spend literally months, years trying to figure out what's the state they want versus like, you know, what can I try on for the next week? It's Monday, right? Mm-hmm. It, 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 I, was, I, it was Monday. It, yeah, it, it was Monday. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's Monday. I'm going to change my socks, my underwear and my state. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then and then then seven days later you change again just for fun or you go i'll keep these ones on you know yeah. just uh yeah 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 so i need i need to do some more of that like playing around with them because it was fun i mean for me it was fun i know everyone is different but i i just had a lot of fun doing that so but yeah the state what i made with like it, it included the word it the concept of being snuggly and then that week everyone was crying and hugging me and I didn't like it at all. Like Brian was, and cry- I was super Brian clingy. was crying <laughs> and the kids at work were crying and everyone was just like holding me and I'm like, no. I'm I'm not- like, oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. It's like I'm not doing this one again. <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> burned it. Now it's a bird I burned that bridge. Or maybe I don't know, but I don't like that one. Yeah. 
I, I, I've played with going shopping and being invisible and oh. people slam into me and with, with shopping carts and cut in front of me <laughs> in line. And like, I, I'll, I'll try to get the attention to get some ham and nobody pays me any attention. Oh. And, and so, and so I don't pay, I don't play with that one much because I, I, I just do it for fun because it works. But wow. like, usually I go out and it's like, right. Yeah. I, I am the most flamboyant guy in Eltham probably, mm-hmm. you know, like it's, it's like, yeah, you, know, you know, people pull out to give me parking spaces. Yeah. You know, I get offered shopping carts. You know, people yeah. ask me if I need help. It's just, uh, it's, it's lovely. You know, it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. and and of course I can dial it up or down in either direction. You know, Ooh. so uh, yeah, always yeah. ways to play. Yeah. How how huggy do you want to be? You know, yeah. yeah there's I'm not really. A, I'm not, not really a hugger, so that was probably not a good yeah. idea anyway. So just like you didn't even last a week, did you? Did you no, I did. I, I I kept those dates for the whole week. Okay. But I yeah. just was at the end of the week. I was like, no, thank you. I'm like, not you're giving me an extra this. eighty hugs more than your quota, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah. Oh my! I can't imagine doing invisible and getting slammed into. That would I would be irritated. <laughs> it's so fun to talk to people about what what they imagine, what bonds they put in, what states they, they, they wear, because there's like, I never would have thought I'm going to be invisible. So you know, bet he's going to play with that one. I am, I am <laughs> going to try because you know, and imagining as a kid, like I am, I'm a superhero. What power would I have? Invisibility. I, I, I can't choose which one I would want to have if I was a superhero, but invisibility is one that would be a lot of fun to play with. No. I've gone crazy over pickle juice. I'm just nuts about this stuff. They're they're oh, these juice. Pipple, pi- pickle juice, pepper juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, so, 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 so there, there are these people at the market. Uh, Gorgeous George is the name of the little company or the conglomerate, whatever it is, and they and they make two main kinds of pickles. And oh my god, they're both gorgeous. And so I started looking up shit on YouTube and stuff about, or not YouTube, Google about pickle juice. And did you know they have alcoholic drinks that they add pickle juice to? And I mean, like, like my brain yeah. goes, wow. I mean, like, you know, I, I enjoy a good whiskey. I enjoy a good vodka. I enjoy a good pickle juice. I never <laughs> thought of combining. Oh right? my goodness. <laughs> wow. But, but wow, man, when it, whenever you get like, whether it's with the happy chemicals or whether it's with any other component, you can make up your own states. You can listen to other people and go, oh, I'll steal that little bit. I'll leave that other bit behind. Mm-hmm. But it's like, yeah. oh, my God. It's it's like, hi, Bruce. What are you doing? You're a knucklehead. <laughs> he, he humped my leg one time. I was on a radio show. With Marie Bernard, C I T R Canada Radio. Marie's lovely. And we were doing like about a 45 minute or an hour long show, and Bruce humped my leg the entire time. Right? <laughs> and so, so we hit it, we, we hit a commercial break, and she said something. I said, Hey, does it sound like I'm breathing weird or heavy? And she's like, No, 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 you're fine. I said, Cool. I just wanted you to know my you know, Bruce has been humping my leg the whole time, and I can't get him to stop. Right. <laughs> So I, I, I forget which interview it was. I've done half a dozen with her. But it was just, it was funny as hell because you know, here we are talking live over Canada. She repurposes it onto YouTube and on a blog and everything. But here, here's Bruce the whole time. Ooga, ooga, ooga. It's like, <laughs> like Brucey, <not>, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh dogs <laughs> and, and now now he's here just looking like hey dad how you doing All right I, I hear you're talking to some people <laughs> you're, you're a goof you're a goof mm. <sighs> and brian's gonna sit here smiling <laughs> Yeah, I, I, lo- I love that you don't Playing with silence to fill the space, right? Well, I'm practicing that, like <laughs> trying to appreciate the space. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, something that it's been kind of fun to play with. Uh, 
actually, it almost predates Triple D, but especially Triple D being aware of it, of being okay with different speeds and with silence. We were talking with a friend a few weeks ago, first time talking with this person on on a video chat, and there was a mo- there was like three seconds of silence, and they got all like. Uh, so it like, gets an awkward silence. I'm like, no. It's been two and a half seconds. <laughs> what? Uh, I was like, no, it's not awkward. Now I know that it's awkward for you, but it wasn't for me. Yeah. Although I get that. I get that. And I can use it in my teaching too, because I'll ask a question, and instead of trying to like get everyone to answer it real quick and share their perspective. I'll just wait. Yeah. 10 seconds go by. <laughs> I'm still kind of uncomfortable. 15 seconds go by. <laughs> then someone eventually says, okay, I'll share what I think about that, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, what a play to... <laughs> this could be fun. I've never done this like this. Want to play two games? Two games? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So so let's start with the first one. Ready? White. Green. Blue. Yellow. Purple. Orange. Orange. Sock. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we laugh? Let's try again. <laughs> White. Arrow. <laughs> what? Hey, go away. <laughs> I don't know. Yellow. Purple. Yellow. Purple. Purple. Yellow. Yellow. Orange. Purple. Orange. Green. So so now you two play and I'll watch. And and notice what happens when you change the speed. See how fast you can go. Go, you two play. I'll watch. Oh, dang. All right. Circle. Square. Triangle. Square. Triangle. Rectangle. Rectangle. Square. Hexagon. Octagon. Isodecagon. Dodecahedron. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. How about an ISO? I actually said something that didn't make sense. Because I messed it up, and then she actually said something that made sense. <laughs> That's what I do. I make sense <laughs> out of the senseless. <laughs> I, I'm always curious. Laughter shows up with this one, and it makes no sense, does it? And, and you guys screwed it up. I'm talking colors, and you guys. I know. He just. I, I was like, oh my I god! Do different. He wanted different. Yeah, I wanted different. <laughs> we, we, we've got a new game, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, fa- I'm I'm fascinated by this one because if, if we play with speed and 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 the content really doesn't matter, laughter always shows up. There's always a laughter that shows up with a change of speed. Bruce, hi, you got to go away. I'm sorry. No, sorry. See ya. So here's another one. Ready? So whatever the so I'm going to say something and you say something back. Let's just see what happens. Ready? Cat. Dog. Dog. Flower. Tree. Bake. Bacon. Hickory. Yummy. Chicken. Beef. Liver. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Here we go again. Now watch this. What, what I want you to do, I'm going to say something. I want you to notice what you think your first response is and disregard it. Notice what your second response is and disregard it. And give me your third response. Ready? Okay. Yes. I've been doing, I've been skipping the first response. So I have to skip two responses now. At least. Yeah, at least two. Toyota. Car. Ford. <laughs> Ocean. Lake. Waves. 
grandchild. Home. Happy. Why was pesky the first word? <laughs> why does why does laughter show up? I'm I'm fascinated with any way we can play with space and speed. That to the quote unquote uninitiated, the exercises will make no sense, and that's cool. And they also may seem to be the same exercise, but they're totally different. Yeah. But if you if you play with these things, Bruce, go away. What? Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Go outside. Go eat Emmett. <laughs> Where's Emmett? Go eat Emmett. Where's your ball? Go get your ball. Be happy to hear that. (laughs) (laughs) And we wonder why Emmett thinks that there's a conspiracy against him. There is. (laughs) There is. There is. Exactly. (laughs) Any any time where you guys can play with process instead of playing in content, uh, guys, there's so much content in the world. And almost no attention ever gets to process or speed or space. <clears throat> or is it their first seeming response or their third seeming response? Anytime you can play with these as teachers, friends, aunts, uncles, you got a little one around the family or an old one in the family. Yeah. Oh my God. This is what removes seriousness. And we really oh, do have a, we've got this fun deficit disorder in our culture. Yes. That it's, it's like as the loogie has gone up, the fun deficit has gone up as well. And it's like, mm-hmm. oh my God, the world is so ripe for some good yummy play. Yeah. I realized that Sirius and me are not good together. So <laughs> I, the less serious I've become after doing triple D than the my fun level has gone through the roof and yeah also the fun that i allow other people to have like they we're all having a lot more fun you know every day yeah yeah the invitation the permission the play the dance the just look at you two (laughs) you're looking at us (laughs) Uh, yeah i am Petting the dog, looking at you too. Yeah, the dog did not go away. <laughs> no, <laughs> he did go after Emmett. He got the oh. oh, okay, I'll go get Emmett. And now he's back. He's like, right, I'll reward him. <laughs> yeah, he'll reward me. <laughs> yeah. So, what's it like having a dream driven day? For, for me, it's not perfect because you know some people they they shoot for perfect, and, and there and there's always the opportunity for speed bumps, as you guys know, and uh, so on and so forth. But yeah, it may not quote unquote be quote in the eyes of the world perfect, but at the end of the day, I'm always like, wow, what a day, best day ever, you know, like every day, best day ever. Yeah. I feel like for me, then it's delightfully surprising. I'm surprised in so many different ways throughout the day. And I love that. I just, I want to be surprised in delightful ways and it's happening every day. And I'm like, wow, I didn't realize I could be surprised by that or enjoy that or experience that today, now, this way, you know? So yeah, I like it. I love it. <laughs> if I shot for perfection, and I think I think I did for a while before, and it was always so disappointing and so <laughs> makes me can't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, if that makes any sense. You know, but now for me, it's, it's, and I think some days I don't, I still don't have, there's a few days where I, I wake up and I, I don't set, you know, I don't do my Joseph Goddard sometimes, 
And then, uh, especially days when things are due, and I'm like, oh, I just got to get this past this deadline. You know? Oh, dreadline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the dreadline. <laughs> the dreadline. You know, but but now I'm, I'm getting back to it. And so there's like a few times where I just, for me, it's just noticing the quote little, little things. Like the other day when I made the car blow past the stop sign. <laughs> And I was like, that was fun. <laughs> and I'm still here sitting there thinking about it. That was like just some little like trivial thing. But the trivial things can be so much fun sometimes. I don't know. I think of little kids, you know, be as little children. And as little children, I had, uh, I grew up poor. I, I didn't have matchbox cars or Hot Wheels cars. I had the generic version of the matchbox cars or the <laughs> Hot Wheels cars. You know what I mean? Like the wheels on my cars weren't cool. They weren't hot. <laughs> cool <laughs> wheels. Like, oh, yeah, right. But every now and then I'd save up some money and I'd get a real Hot Wheels or a real matchbox car. But it's funny because it, when we grow up, uh, it, we you know, like when we're little kids, we'll play with three, four, five, six cars, park them, crash them into each other, build a tunnel, you know, you know, trade them off for something different. But oh my God, when we get grown up ish, like, you know, we, uh, you know, the play stops, you know, like, uh, oh my God, it's a bird shit on my car. Mm -hmm. Like in Australia, it rains mud. Like it's fascinating. We actually, it rains mud here. And like the whole idea of bird shit is not a big deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But it's like, how often do we get stuck on my car, my way, my parking spot versus like, oh, how can I play today? Let's play with traffic. How else could I play with traffic? Oh, that might be fun. Just something to do. What, let me ask, when's the last time you've been bored? Has it been a while? Yeah, I'm not bored. <laughs> yeah. I'm not I'm trying bored. to think. <laughs> if because if I'm bored, then I'm like, oh, I need to play with something. Like I could just immediately just start to play because I realize it doesn't it doesn't have to do with other people or the situation outside of me. Like I could play right now, twenty four seven. If I'm you know, however, whenever. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm always learning, always playing with something. I'm fascinated when people tell me they're bored. I get you guys don't do boredom. Uh, I, I find boredom just leads to like, uh, well, what can I be anxious about? You know what I mean? It's okay. like, oh, I'm bored. Let me go on Facebook and find somebody who I don't know who had a tragedy that I can imagine feeling bad about. It's like, <laughs> oh, my God, how do you do that? Why would you do that? You know? Just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't either. For, versus like, right, like... Yeah, I think another thing with this dream driven day thing to me is like, I'm never bored. So I'm always playing with something uh, dreamy, mm -hmm. dream like. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, lovely, entertaining, fanciful. There's a word. Fanciful, yes. Fanciful. I think another thing that's part of my dream driven day is a lot of noticing what I'm imagining and how it is manifesting really fast like i know that's part of manifesting mastery i know it's part of mm but i'm just like in my dream driven day i do a lot of noticing so yesterday i fucked up in a delightful way because and i realized and i remembered when i had imagined that like so that we have one vehicle right now and and brian sometimes drops me off and sometimes I drive to work by myself, you know, whatever. And so I thought, <laughs> like, one of these days recently, I imagined forgetting that he had dropped me off and walking into the parking lot and being like, oh, fuck, where's the car? And then so uh, yesterday it actually happened. <laughs> so I have my keys. I walk out and I'm like, look, at, I'm like, where's the car? And then I said, oh, well, I'm going to walk home. I don't care. And it was delightful because then someone shouted out to me and we had a good interaction. And, you know, we talked about like, you know, they like my pictures on Facebook and they're like, don't stop posting those. That brightens my day. They gave me so many compliments. And and I was like, if I hadn't fucked up, I wouldn't have heard that because she would have been gone, you know, or whatever. And then, 
you know, and so it was a delightful situation. And then I, it was a beautiful day and I like to walk. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm not going back into the, the building and the darkness of the, you know, the building, I'm just going to walk home. And so it ended up being delightful, but I was like, I imagined that the other yeah. day, like, and it happened to, like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so it's really fun to notice. And so my dream driven days include a lot of little noticings of how fast it is and how accurate and precise it is. Cause yeah. Wow. I was like, wow. But I, it was also, I was delighted. I wasn't upset. I didn't feel ashamed or upset about it at all. I was like, okay, (laughs) this is how my day is is today. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think that's a biggie because as soon as you regret noticing, you start noticing less. Or mm-hmm. you regret what you noticed, the content, you start noticing less. So the so the process shuts down. So you get you, you get the whole thing of like that's when people don't notice their wins, they don't notice that they're imagining shit. And it's like, you know what, what if it was all for entertainment? Mm-hmm. What if it was all for entertainment? I, I was imagining one time not being able to find my car. Sounds mm-hmm. pretty familiar, right? Mm-hmm. So I go into the shops, I come out, and I'm like, where's my car? <laughs> I, normally, I normally park in this area. Where's my car? I, I, I don't know where my car is. What the fuck is Victoria doing here? It's like, oh, I brought her car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my car's in the shop. I totally forgot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, buy my car. It's not here. Exactly. So, so I imagined <laughs> losing my car. And I didn't even have my car. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's, and the joke's on me. It was funny as hell because it's like, right? Uh, what's Victoria doing here? It's like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I can't find my car, and my wife's here. What's my wife doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are all wins, oh, and I think I, love this. I yes. like it. I mean, today I had one that it was like, okay, there was a kid, and he had a toy, and it's a little car, a truck, and it broke like one of the little tail lights broke off of it. He said it broke off today. We don't know if that's true. But anyway, I was imagining finding it. I was like, okay, I don't need to look for it and look for it and be worried. I can imagine picking it up and like handling handing it to him. So I imagined that. And then lo and behold, I found it and I handed it to him, but it was the one that was already on the car that had in the, the midst of us looking for it, broken oh, off wow. and wow. I was like so it was what he needed but I'm like that just means that thing is not here like he, who knows when he lost that thing like but I did find right. it and immediately like it was like I picked it up I had it to him I'm like guess what and he's like oh you found it and he's like wait a minute now both of them were off and he was putting one of them on so it was See, funny and, 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 and now he has a ghetto car right <laughs> yeah it's very, get- very this ghetto is, this, is, this is so cool man you got a ghetto car <laughs> He was disappointed. I mean, he felt his eyes lit up for one second, then he realized, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, hey, I imagine finding mm. it, and I did. I found that thing on the floor. So, <laughs> yeah. It was funny. And, and, you, and you don't beat yourself up. This is no, so good. This is, yeah. <laughs> why would you? That's the thing, you know? Yeah. I still beat myself up a little bit. But a lot less. Yeah. She can how tell do you, you do that. that? I was. How do, you, how do you beat yourself up? I don't know. How to, you need I'm to just explain this. insults and self denigration. Oh, no. no. And, uh, oh, there's no such thing as hell, but God made it for me. Or, oh, my God. or you know, everyone else can learn how to do this, but I can't learn it. And, Who's, who's voice? Everyone else is a good teacher, but I'm a shitty teacher. Yeah, and... right. <laughs> yeah. Whose voice? Whose voice? Oh, it's mine. Wow. What language? <laughs> oh. You can change it to Korean. <laughs> oh, I could. I wouldn't understand any of it anymore. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I could yeah. change it. Yeah, Speedy Gonzalez does Korean. You know, it's like... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And when I notice myself doing that, I just I try to change it because I remember that lesson that you did, um, Tony. And 
I try to change it to like a Mickey Mouse voice or just some stupid ass voice. I'm like, oh, that's my bullshit. Like, and I try to just change it. Yeah. And, you know, I'm like, I don't know if it helps, but it's at least I'm doing something that's better than or different than what was happening, which was me, you know, yes. insulting myself, which does not need to happen. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, th I think one of the hidden states is active imaginer. Yeah. Because passive imaginer, you just beat the shit out of yourself mm -hmm. in your voice. Mm -hmm. Active imaginer, you beat the shit out of yourself with Speedy Gonzales speaking Korean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speedy, Speedy talks faster than you do and in a language you don't, right? Right. Like, yeah. you know, I, I always bring it up to my buddy at the pool. I says, I find haikus fascinating. Because when I learned them back in high school, I mean, you know the formula better than I do. You got so many syllables, so many syllables, and so many syllables. And like, I remember Mrs. Severn would say them all slowly. Here are some syllables, syllables about syllables, and more syllables. And I go, wow, man, like, aren't they like Japanese or something? Like, syllables, syllable, syllable, syllable. syllable. <laughs> like, like, that does not relax me. That terrifies me. <laughs> That's good, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, right, I just get confused. You know, water going real fast goes down the drain. It's like, what does that mean? What does it mean? What do you, what do you mean by that? What does it? <laughs> <laughs> I would love it. I, I I'm gonna try that. Speedy Gonzalez in Korean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, look look at him. He's doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. Can you do it? Are you doing it? I'm not doing it now, but um. I guess I am. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. Boom. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I only learned a little bit and I forgot most of it. So he's not going to make any sense. Yeah. So, so you won't have to go. listen to what he says. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It makes no sense to ever feel bad about what you do. Mm -hmm. it, it makes great sense to go. It's it's time for a course correction, or how can yeah. I amp this yeah. up, or yeah, change the tune on the radio. Yes, absolutely. So here's a question: Seven years from now, so if you go out eight and you look back to seven years from now, how do you see your lives have changed because of this? I would think eight years ago, I couldn't have imagined any of this. <laughs> Heck, seven and a half years ago. Well, right. No, it's been about how long have I been doing this stuff? About half a year now. A little more than half a year. So, about seven and a half years ago, I couldn't imagine any of this. Right. You know, it's funny. I, I imagined my play with this would lead me to stages with big audiences and stuff, you know, because that's all we had back in the 80s, you know, like late 80s, early 90s, well, early 90s. It was like, yeah, yeah. But it's like, you couldn't pay me to get on a stage. It's not like I'm not averse to it, but I'd have to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, and God, it's so cool, like, uh, you know, so, sort of knowing where you're going, knowing the direction that you're going. Yes. And yet not knowing what the destination, quote unquote, get, is necessarily. Like, right. like this whole podcasting thing. We do our weekly stats. And there were two days last week or two days when we did the stats for last week where we broke over 4,000 listens a day. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit is right. I mean, like, <laughs> I, I, I go back to the original days, three listens, seven listens, two listens, none, mm -hmm. 11 listens. Oh, we broke 20. Score. Right? <laughs> but two days over 4,000 listens. And you know, when we just, the stats last Monday, it's like, whoa, man. Considering you, you, you get to notice the direction you're going in, but not necessarily know the destination. Right. Oh my god. Wow. It's it's kind of fun. It's way fun. I'm very exhilarated by just knowing that. Just experiencing that 
every day and knowing that, you know, I'm like driving the bus of my life now and I'm taking it towards a destination of a certain feeling that I desire and nobody can fucking stop me. Like, I, I love that. Ryan's walking away. Just gotta get him some food real quick. Oh, Dandelion is asking Hello, for food. Pussy cat. Hello, pussy cat. <laughs> that feed me. I was also thinking that maybe you could make your um, insults to yourself in Dandelion's voice. <laughs> you know, actually, I do that sometimes. You already do that? Well, maybe don't do that. <laughs> Dandelion is very insulting. <laughs> Oh, listen to that. That's not my phone. <laughs> yeah, but I also just, when that question about work in seven years from now, I'm also, it's like, I don't know. Because what am I, what am I going to decide, you know, even next month? You know what? Let me put this bun in the oven. And where is that going to take me? So all I know is seven years from now, we're going to be like eight years ago. What? <laughs> yeah. Nice. So that's all I, that's, that's all I can reduce it to. And, and that's all I can say about that. I imagine fun happening and being happy about it. Fun. <laughs> I imagine fun happening and I'm not thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> and I am There's <laughs> too much fun. I feel yeah, bad I'm about it. I'm angry about be, all this fun. There shouldn't, I, I've got to pay for this somehow. Nope. Nope. I'll be at the pool with my buddy, and he doesn't go on Saturdays, and today it's Saturday here. So when we're done, I'll scoot to the pool, and I swear to God, at least 10 people are going to go, where's your buddy? And I said, Saturday. And I'll go, Saturday? He says, yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't like to feel good on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And 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 I, and I swear to God, he'll go back to the pool and they'll, he'll, they'll ask him, why don't you like to feel good on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's actually gotten really good at coming up with creative answers. Wow. Because before he'd just look at me like, why do you tell them that? <laughs> <laughs> no, Brian's going to show up. <laughs> yep. That's another thing about, you know, my, my days are more filled with laughter now. Wow. And with that laughter, you know, is, is, is <laughs> something I really value and has been with me for a long time. But now it's like, I mean, I don't think two minutes has passed without my laughter in this call. So yeah, maybe and she's like, he laughs too much. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, it did <coughs> when I was in my 20s and I was more self-conscious and I'm like, oh, no, why is he laughing like this? And But I know it makes people happy and it means he's happy. So it actually has been one of the things that I imagine, like when I'm trying to imagine my scenes of my life is that laughter. You know, I want to hear that. So and I do every every day. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. What a gift to each other. Absolutely. Something else I've been doing. Okay, I don't want to use the little word. I <laughs> guess I did. Just I just did. <laughs> and man, I can't think of any other way to say it in little ways, in ways, in some ways, practicing the risk rejection. Wow. Nice. How you doing that? That one is like, oh gosh, you if you would have met me before that, I mean, actually she's not in her head because she's like, yep, 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 you were reserved as fuck and shy as fuck and, and all that kind of stuff. But now whenever I notice, sometimes when I notice that I'm that I'm in that kind of state and acting that kind of way, it's like remind myself, who cares? And so more often, more than before, I'll just do something like the other day, Silla called me on the on the Facebook video chat and he'd never done that before. 
and I missed the call because I was driving. Right. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, I need to call him back, but I, but, but I don't know what to say. And what's he want to talk about? And I was coming to all these dumbass excuses for, for, for just like sending him a text and being like, I can't call you back right now. Uh, and, and I was like, fuck that. So I just hit the voice, the, the little video yeah. chat button, and he picked up, and we had like literally, literally three seconds of small talk, and then we Dope. had a lovely ass chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was. Wonderful. I was trying to take a nap at that point, but I couldn't yeah. because I was just enjoying listening to them <laughs> have their conversation. So yeah, it was lovely. I really, you know. This whole risk rejection thing. I love real conversations, and 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 to, to me, they're 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 unhypnotic. They, they they draw the attention in, but they wake you up. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. And and it, and it's just you got any time you can participate or initiate or share one. Uh, wow. You ever think of podcasting? I did think of it for like three seconds and I thought, no, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't even have something to say to anyone. That's wow. Not, but yeah. No, speedy, I'm how, myself. How, did, how does Speedy Gonzalez say that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even, I can't even mimic it. It's, oh, I hear it. I actually hear it now. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I'm gonna use this. This is fun. Yeah, nice. Nice. But I just I just I heard and I, when I said that, I heard Brian, you just told Tony that you didn't know what to say to Sizzle, but you called him anyway and you had a wonderful conversation. Yeah, nice. So I might not know what I'm gonna say. Just like you, you always turn on you get into portable disposable hot tub. Yeah. And, and, and away we go. And away you go. Yeah. So I don't know what my like theme would be, you know. Yes. Cool. So so in I the club, one of the things that we explored was when you don't know what, go to who. When you don't know what you would sell, when you don't know what your message is, when you don't know what your theme is, who? Who do you want to impact? How, who do you want to touch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. See, because my answer is everybody. So. Well, that's not my answer. <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> so, I, yeah, I, I, I hear that question and I love it. And I'm just like, I like you asked if we had thought about doing a podcast or. And I have thought about it, but it's always like, I don't know what it would be about, or I don't know. I, and another big thing is I don't know that I'm interested in starting that right now because I'm working on other things that I'm interested in. So I don't know. She's got so many projects. Um, and, and also. But I do have an interest in that, but I'm not sure when I want to focus on it. And then I was like the what, like what, so it's one of the things that's on, I have this visual of a stove in my mind and it's on the back burner, but it's on the stove. I, it's not off the stove. So I don't know how that is going to come into play or when or what. Yeah. Sweet. You too. I'm going to have to go in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. I do want to mention again how much I have tremendously enjoyed this. And uh, I saw in the notes that you wanted to go public. Uh, still want to? Yep. Yes. Cool. I get this will give a lot to a lot of people. So I got two questions. One, how can I give to you today? And two, uh, anything else you want to tell the world? Because I imagine at least... Yeah, you know, five or ten or a hundred or a thousand people will listen to this. Maybe more. Uh, who knows how many? That's the cool thing to me. You know what's uh, what's kind of funny is when you said five or ten or a hundred or a thousand. When you got to a thousand, 
I noticed this little like, <laughs> you know. Have you done? Have you done like the attitude that. money game? Have you done the attitude money game? We are doing yeah, it. Yeah, we're doing it. We okay. are okay. playing cool, cool. it. Although we haven't been adding to our attitude we haven't money. Been, we haven't doubled it in a while, so. Double it. D- double yeah, it because we're start. so comfortable with the amount we need to double it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, but it, was like, it was only that little split second where I went, <gasps> and then. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I rejected yeah. it. Yeah, I was like, nice. Bring 10,000 people to listen to this. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's where that came in for me. Then that will give to 22 because that's 10,000 listeners. <laughs> See, to me, that's the fun because we're, when you notice at, at a certain level something happens and you reject that, you just accepted a new you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And how many people if listening? I'm okay with, to this if thing? I'm okay with 10 people listening to this, why not 10,000? What's yes. the difference? Except yes. there is a difference. But what? but not to you, but to them. Yeah. Because they could be blessed by it. I I like that. Cool guys. Ah. <sighs> what was the questions again? Did we already answer them? I don't know what <laughs> I didn't know what my answer was. <laughs> to one of them but i don't think i have anything like word of wisdom to drop at the end of the video oh, that, yeah, <laughs> that, that, yeah. or concern anything, or anything else that i want to share i just think that this is you know great stuff and my life has really been changing in ways that are so awesome and great and so i'm yeah, I'm glad that I made this my way of life. I'm with you. So far, I, I tell people, you find something better, let me know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So far, no takers. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like that. Something better. Let me know. I don't. I can't. I can't. Like. It's a whole other story, you know, how I've been feeling about learning this stuff these past six or seven months, but something that was instantly, almost instantly on my radar right away was. This gets at the very, you know, there's lots of schools of thought and philosophies and all that kind of thing and ways of, you know, ethics and stuff that seem to be pretty foundational, but I don't, I can't imagine anything that this is sitting on top of. Yep, totally. I'm with you. That's like if I go down to like find like the court and what's underneath it, it, I'll be drawn forever. It feels like. Yep. So. It's funny. We've got we've got probably about another five or ten courses, quote unquote, in the works, and it's just different ways to explore the onion because the onion keeps going. Yes. There's no need to. I mean, you know, yeah. There's other things I could learn: horticulture, right? <laughs> auto auto repair, but when it comes to living life. Uh, to me, this is just an onion that we can just keep peeling away at in the most marvelous ways, like Neville did. Neville taught for decades the same message, but it was always something, hey, here's something else cool about it. Yes. Which is, hey, here's something else that's cool about you. Here's mm-hmm. something else that's cool about you, too. Here's something. It's like, wow, man. Like, nonstop fun. Yes. Yeah. Nonstop fun. That's what I like. <laughs> uh, I like that you like fun. That blesses me so much. Yeah, because you can be serious at times. <laughs> That's not good. I don't serious like serious. Brian is serious. No Brian is a little bit too serious. <laughs> <sighs> I lock him up more often though.
You two are lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Do you have anything that you want to end with? Wow. You know, there really is that thrill when uh, there really is that thrill that I get with couples that are willing to open up and expand and not be codependent or controlling. And and I love how in the conversation today and also in you know, prior emails, there was the, the this the, the there's when there's a willingness to explore, it always invites the partner to explore, which invites the original person to explore more differently, which invites the other partner to explore more differently. And it like ratchets back and forth. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, it's, and to me, it's a fascinating thing versus, well, if I could get good at this, if she played along, Oh, I, yeah, I, this life would be wonderful if he wasn't negative. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's like, really? <laughs> Selling the pearl. Yeah. Yeah. But when you buy the pearl, you go, yeah, you know, I, I imagine him getting it. I imagine yeah. her getting into it. Consciously, unconsciously, doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine chatting about it. And and here we are. Wow. Yeah. I, I I want you two to know what a gift you are to me. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, guys. Have a lovely evening. Enjoy some rum. Yes. I'll hit the pool and I'll enjoy some pickle juice before I go without vodka. Oh, I love pickle juice. Oh, pickle my God. Juice. Yeah. Enjoy the pickle juice. And the... now Brian's imagining pickle juice. So we're going to get it. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the pickle juice in the swimming pool. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Have a have a goodie night, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank, Thank you. you. Cool. See ya. Bye. See ya.